Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be a singles reading. So this is for singles. You're single. If you're coupled, you're, you know, you're attached to somebody, this reading isn't for you. This is for February. Okay, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February. Singles. What do we have for singles for Virgo? You know, what I heard before I started this was just breathe. Just breathe. It's going to be okay. Just relax. So I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Uh, think something is about to change. There's a higher power involved here. And it may you may need to adapt to a change. Something is going to happen that's going to... You're going to need to be flexible and you're going to need to adapt. You know? It feels as though you may need to adapt to uh, something coming in and needing to... Give it time, give it energy, give it your your uh, attention. You know, you may have to... Uh, I think something is coming where you're going to need to... Uh, it's going to make you happy, whatever it is. It's going to be a change and it may knock you off your feet a little bit. It may, you may, you're going to need to adapt to this change. It's going to... It's not something you saw coming. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. It's 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 going to make you happy though. It's going to be like, "Wow, where did this come from? Where did this come from?" Um Oh, no. This is some sort of union, okay? This could be a soulmate or something is somebody is coming into your life. I don't think you see it coming. You don't I don't think you even see it coming. This is for singles, remember? Okay, this is for singles. This could be the person that you have been waiting for. This could be somebody that you end up marrying. And I do not sugarcoat readings. But this is how I felt before I turned the, the camera on. So I was like, oh no. Because I am a I am Virgo rising. And in many cases, the rising sign is the sign that you are supposed to watch. And I don't know where this is coming from. And you're not going to know where this is coming from. But this could be the person that you, you know, end up... This could be a soulmate connection, the Four of Wands. This could be the person that you end up being committed to. Somebody that you end up marrying. Um, this is some sort of higher power that is bringing two people together. I think it's going to make you happy. But you may feel a little uneasy about it, okay? Because you got other things that you're you're focusing on. And it's funny that I said just breathe, just breathe. You may feel like uh you know, this isn't what you anticipated by any means. Um oh, 9 of cups. This is exactly something that you have been wishing for. The 9 of car cups is wish fulfillment. It's it's abundance. It's it's like your prayers have been answered. Th this person is probably going to make you put you on a pedestal, whoever this person is. Um you may meet this person at a gathering. It may have something to do with your home. Um Seizing a new opportunity. Virgo, you got a new opportunity coming. And this is like, I feel like this is going to knock you right off your feet. This person is going to put you on a pedestal or vice versa. This is the answer to your prayers. And I don't like to sugarcoat by any means. I do not. This is not who I am. You may meet this person at a celebration. You may meet this person um, at a party. If you haven't met them uh, already. Oh my goodness gracious. You may not be looking for love. And I feel that for some of you, you're not looking. Um, you may be, there's a self-image problem here. You may feel like you're not good enough. All right. You may feel like, I don't know. Some of you may feel like you're unlovable. Like you're not, you're not good enough. Or there could be a child. You feel like they might not like your child or something like that. Whoever this person is, they're a perfect match. They are a perfect match. They're bringing this person into your life because this is what you asked for. And you may have asked for this subconsciously, okay? Um, 
That four of cups is this is letting go of regret, looking forward. Now it's the end of stagnation, interested in this new opportunity. Somebody is interested in you. You may not be looking. And that's what I feel like this is. It's like I'm not looking. Oh no, this is an opportunity that could last a real this whoever this person is that's coming into your life, it could be permanent. This is definitely something that you manifested, something that you asked for. Here it is. Here it is. This is a gift from above. Know that it is. It really is. And you might be like, ah, uh, no, I'm not interested, but but this really makes you happy. And you may decide, you know, what are you, you're going to have to make a choice, okay? Because this is a choice. You're going to have to cho choose. Do you want it or not? Do you want it or not? So I think that you are probably going to be struggling to make a choice whether you want to commit to somebody or not. So um, this is definitely something that you asked for. It's like a commitment, a commitment that you asked for. This person is going to make you feel good, really good. Um <sighs> Oh, God. You're going to have to let your guard down. And I feel like you may be overwhelmed. You may be overwhelmed. You may be feeling like you've been defeated by this person. This person treats you so good. You may feel powerless. Okay? You may feel like you can't fight this person off because they make you feel so good. Oh, my goodness gracious. So you are being brought something that you have asked for. You have manifested a soulmate. You have. You have. You have. For some of you, for the, oh. this is a gift. That eight, that's a new opportunity that could lead to something solid. It could lead to something really, really stable. It's like, and you might build a home with this person because the four of wands is about home. It's a definitely, I mean, 1111, that's manifestation. And this is manifestation. You have manifested this person. Uh, that is the truth. Okay. You have manifested. Okay. Uh, there's no joke. Okay. This is the card of manifestation in 1111. Okay. This is instant manifestation. You have manifested a new partner. You have manifested somebody, a commitment. Okay. You have. That is going to make you really, really, really happy if you want it. The thing is, I'm not, there's, there's a feeling of, uh, maybe it's fear, you know, fear. You're going to have to let your guard down, you, you know, maybe you're feeling powerless to this connection. There's definitely a connection here that is coming in. There is. Um, you may feel like you don't want it. You didn't want it. You weren't asking for it, but you were, maybe you were asked, maybe you asked for it years ago. You know, and now maybe two years ago, maybe something that goes back two years. Maybe this is somebody that you were talking to two years ago. I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe it didn't get off the ground and now it's about to get off the ground. Now there's an, now there's an opportunity to have a relationship with this person. I don't know who this person is. Probably not a Pisces. Um, not a Cancer. I don't think it is. This is, this is, um... I mean, the moon reversed is stepping out of your fear. Don't let fear get in the way. The moon reversed is is a release of fear. I see that somebody is very, very fearful. There's no trust. There's no trust. You need to have trust. Maybe you were deceived by somebody that has caused you to mistrust. Somebody lied to you. Okay, but you do have a new connection here. This is a new connection. You really, really, really do. There, You need to let go of your fear. And I feel like you need to give this person a chance. Oh, there's lack of self-worth, lack of self-value. I think that you were probably in a unrequited relationship in the past with somebody who didn't value you. They didn't treat you with respect. They didn't nurture you. They made you feel less than worthy. They didn't see your value, which caused you to feel less than valuable. And now you don't trust. You don't trust. You may have been used. You may have been used by somebody. Um, and there's fear of having to go through that pain again. You're, you need to face your fears, okay? Let somebody love you.
I feel like you're going to be having fun. I think that it's time to celebrate. It's time to live again. It's time to put yourself out there. I think you're going to be socializing with this person and having fun. You may have some drinks with this person and let loose a little bit and things just develop. Things, something is going to develop into a long-term, long-term commitment, okay? Get prepared for a long-term commitment. This is like your hero, Okay, if you are if you are the masculine, then this is you coming in to save the day. Okay, you're 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 headed. You're dealing with if you are the masculine watching this, the man. You are dealing with a woman that doesn't trust, and she doesn't trust because she was abused or misused or she wasn't valued by somebody else. She was lied to. She was cheated on. She was she was used. Okay, so now she's afraid. She's afraid to put herself out there. If you are the masculine, that you are dealing with a woman who is. Fearful, definitely, that she's not good enough, okay? If you are the female watching this, the person that is arriving is could be a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person has been through a battle. This person has fought. This person has a lot of life experience. This person has made a lot of progress in their life. They have been through their own little war zone. Now they are ready for a reprieve. They're ready to sit back and they're ready to settle down. So I feel like whoever is coming into your life, if you, if you are the feminine, this person is looking for a long-term commitment. And I think that they're, they're here to uh, change your whole life. And you may have asked for it subconsciously or whatever. I'm telling you what. If you are the masculine watching this, you are dealing with a woman that has been deceived, probably cheated on. She doesn't trust, but you can probably get her to open up with... Uh, if you shower her with attention and you don't give up, okay? You give her attention. You put her on a pedestal. This woman deserves to be put on a pedestal. Pedestal. She's a beautiful soul, but the last one didn't do so. So anyway, um, there's potential for long-term commitment here. Somebody asked for it. This Here it is. So Virgo, get prepared. Get prepared. I think that you're you're gonna probably having be having fun with this person. You may go out for drinks with this person. You may go out to dinner with this person. You may go on a date. You may meet this person on social media. You could meet this person at some sort of gathering, a party, um, a get together of some sort. There's something also to do with the home because this the Four of Wands is about home. Um, it's about foundations. We have a couple fours here, so you're probably going to be building a new foundation with somebody, um, starting from scratch by the looks of things. Um, you're probably going to feel powerless to this connection because this person puts you on such a pedestal. It probably is going to, um, shock you. Um, yeah. So get prepared, Virgo. If you are single, it looks like you are about to have a new opportunity that is presented to you. But you will be able to make the choice whether you want it or not. And that is the first card, making the choice. Do you want this or not? It's going to make you happy. You're going to be like on cloud nine. You're going to be like, wow, wow. But that fear is so big. The fear, the fear of getting hurt, the fear of getting abused, the fear of not being valued. The fear of, you know, getting yourself into a third party situation. Maybe whoever you dealt with in the past that lied to you, involved you in a third party situation. They are very sneaky. They are very sly. Whatever. You gotta let go of those fears. This person is not that last person. Let go of that. Let go of that fear. Let go of that third party. Let go of that that and, and get ready for this new opportunity. And I think that somebody here is going to take the new opportunity. And it could definitely lead to something solid. Okay, let's get one of these for Virgo. This is a opportunity for a long-term commitment. I think it's with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. It absolutely, positively does. So get prepared. Get prepared. If you are single, you may be meeting the one. Okay? Or you're coming together with the one. And you may have... You may even have... You know, it feels like there was a lost opportunity a couple years ago. It could be four years ago. I don't know. It feels like there was, but now there's a chance. Now there, that's what I feel like this is. And if not, it could be somebody brand new with the Ace of Pentacles. 
Garak. 